everyone. Uh, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We have a big story to talk to you today because we happen to get some exclusive information on things happening at the Game Awards next week. And let me just say, things are still adding up to possibly see Breath of the Wild 2 at the Game Awards next week. That's right, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's for sure going to happen, but more evidence has cropped up that yes, indeed, we might see Breath of the Wild 2 next week. Maybe even a title reveal. Wouldn't that be special? Now, uh, before we get into the story, I want to remind you that we are giving away three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. To enter, there is a link down in the description or the pinned comment. I will be announcing that winner uh, towards the release of the game in January. That being said, uh, I will also be setting up our stream for the Game Awards here, I think tomorrow, uh, so you guys can go, uh, go basically set up your notifications for our show. We have some giveaways happening during that show and some other magical things special guests uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun so hopefully you're looking forward to the game awards plus we have to get the results of the betting special and see what's gonna happen to Eric or I so uh, that's gonna be pretty fun as well that being said let's get into this story So I have a friend, our channel has a friend. His name is Paul Gale uh, from the Paul Gale Network. He's been on our podcast, he has his own YouTube channel. We'll put links to all that stuff down in the description. But he got a chance to actually talk with Jeff Keeley, and he sent me a private message about this that he knew that I would obviously use for a video. And he said, hey Nate, I have a fun little bit of news. I was speaking with Jeff Keeley on Sunday. Remember, he's been in the industry for a long time. And asked him, um, with there being a lot of anniversaries being celebrated this year between the 35s, 25s, 10s, etc., would it be safe to say without giving anything away, should we expect something at the Game Awards highlighting one or a few stories, or series, I should say? He said, there will be some series that get celebrated, but not all, though franchises that have something relevant coinciding with their anniversary are more likely to have representation. I don't know, like the release of a new game? That might be kind of something that matters. Um, so without saying what, Zelda, for instance, is celebrating 35 years and has a game on its way, making it more likely to be there. Metroid is also celebrating 35 and has a game, Metroid Prime 4, on its way, and obviously just released one in Metroid Dread. Celebrating a game or series seems to be connected to acknowledging the number of, of years and perhaps the footage of something new assigned to it, but that's not guaranteed, but still pretty cool. Um, and then he goes into some speculation of, of his own, which we'll kind of gloss over his speculation. Essentially, he thinks Metro Prime 4 uh, might possibly be there. Um, so uh, what I wanted to know, uh, of course, is how many series are actually celebrating their uh, anniversaries right now? And Paul Gale, thankfully, uh, did the research for me, saving me a bit of time today because it's been pretty busy. Uh, obviously, we have Donkey Kong, Galaga, and Frogger are all ce celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. Zelda, Metroid, Dragon Quest, Kid Icarus, Castlevania, Bubble Bobble, Final Fantasy, Contra, Punch-Out, Double Dragon, Dungeon Master, Fantasy Star, Metal Gear, Mega Man, Street Fighter. They're all celebrating their 35th anniversary either this year or next Next year, um, Sonic, F-Zero, Battletoads, Duke Nukem, and Civilization are at 30 years. Pokemon, Resident Evil, Tomb Raider, Crash Bandicoot, Persona, Nights into Dreams, Dead or Alive, Metal Slug are at 25, uh, at their 25th anniversary. Luigi's Mansion, Pikmin, Animal Crossing, Halo, Red Faction, Conquer, Devil May Cry, Max Payne, Advance Wars, Golden Sun, Jack and Dexter, they're at their 20th anniversaries. Wii Sports, Resistance, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Bully, Okami, Dead Rising, Saints Row, Just Cause, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, and Elite Beat Agents. Man, I haven't heard that game in a long time. They're at 15 year anniversaries. And 10 year anniversaries, as far as we're aware right now, are the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Catherine, Bastion, Bulletstorm, Rage, Dead Island, Dark Souls, The Binding of Isaac as well. So, um, yeah, basically those are kind of the the bigger IPs that are likely going to be part of these um, celebrations. Now, we obviously know there is a rumored Donkey Kong game, and obviously we know about Metro Prime 4 and Breath of the Wild 2, so that gives us three big Nintendo IPs that we could maybe expect something at the Game Awards for, if not music, which there's going to be an orchestra, as confirmed by Jeff Keighley. Uh, but Jeff Keighley also threw out there today, or I guess 
late yesterday that there's a lot of fake rumors going around about what's going to be shown at the game awards uh even though you said we are going to have a lot to show it's you know there's a lot of fake rumors so be careful of what you believe and you might go well then yeah he's obviously talking about these zelda rumors and yeah he might be but also there's a lot of rumors about what's going on at the game awards i if you ever go over to like the gaming rumors and reddit um you know community the gaming and rumor section on reddit oh my gosh there are a billion rumors surrounding the game awards so who really knows exactly uh what he was talking about there uh maybe breath of the wild 2 won't be there maybe the 35th anniversary of zelda won't be there maybe instead we'll have the 35th anniversary being celebrated for metroid because hey it just had dread come out and metroid prime 4 is coming maybe uh we're going to be celebrating donkey kong's 40th because hello that's like one of the ips that really built up nintendo in the video game industry so there's a lot that could be talked about here from Nintendo. Obviously, uh, we're going to go more in depth tonight with special guest Thomas from Switch Stop on our Nintendo Prime podcast right here at 8 p.m. Central Time. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about the Game Awards, what we might see at the Game Awards and all that stuff. Really focusing in on that because this event happens next week, everybody. That's right. On December 9th, next week, Thursday is the Game Awards. Are you guys hyped? Are you guys prepared? Because we're going to be taking care of business here. In fact, we're actually an official co-streamer of the Game Awards, uh, and that's really cool. We're actually getting badges and stuff sent to us. It's kind of a, I don't know, a neat thing anyways, to commemorate our special show that we're doing, because we're having a pre-show, post-show, live streaming the entire event, reacting to everything, having our own events going on inside the event. You guys know what we did for E3. We're doing that for the Game Awards, so uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope that all of you decide to watch the Game Awards with us, even if you're not a fan of the awards or Jeff Keighley in general. Uh, hopefully you're a fan of us, so uh, you guys can have at least a good time celebrating with me and Eric. That being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.